buddy, man. Buddy home? Keep it down, okay? Piece of cake. Good ass. So what? She's a dumb bra with a badge. Come on, relax. I'm gonna be out here in five minutes. Friends home. So, who wants to get laid? Something you're never ever gonna forget, baby. Jesse, get her feet. <laughs> get him off, Jess. Cop. You know what? 
piss me off. Hey! I'm gonna have to straighten you out. <laughs> that's right. Now, what are you doing? Oh, that's it. That's it. Spread them, honey. Spread them. Oh, spread them. Spread them for Eddie, baby. Come on, spread them. Yeah. You know why? <laughs> He's gonna give you something you ain't never, ever gonna forget. <laughs> Dr. Lewis, I'm the OBGYN who examined you when you came in. You're at Mount Billings Memorial Hospital. Where are you, Joan? Hospital. Billings Memorial. Good. You have some scrapes and bruises. You're going to be pretty sore for a while. But nothing's broken. You're going to be fine. Mm, I know. I know, but it's over. We'll talk about it later. Mm. Right now, I want you to try and sleep. Will you do that for me? That's it, baby. Spread your legs for Eddie. He's, uh... He's going to give you something you'll never forget. And uh, then the other one giggled again. That crazy kind of laugh. When I came to, they were gone. I dragged myself to the phone and called for help. <laughs> Eddie's right. I'm not going to forget. These might cheer you up a bit. You all right? No. I should have been there. I should have brought you home myself. Damn it, Joni, look what they did to you. Honey, listen. It's okay. Look, I don't care what happened. It doesn't make any difference to me. I still love you just as much. What I can't stand is that they beat you up. I'd love to have five minutes alone with those punk bastards. I'd kill them all. 
No one said it was going to be easy. But you have to go on with your life. Dr. Fraser, I know that you mean well, but I feel so... A man in my life right now is out of the question. The longer you wait, the harder it's going to be. You shouldn't confuse the hate you feel for those boys with the love you feel for Richard. I can't even have coffee with Richard. When he talks to me, all I hear is that little punk telling me all the wonderful things that I'm never going to forget. I'm afraid that if Richard touches me, I'll start screaming. You know, Richard told me that that he didn't think getting raped was important. That what upset him was that they beat me up. Sometimes I feel like getting even with him, too. All right. Why do you think you feel like that? I lived up to my part of the bargain. Are you going to live up to yours? What happened? Nothing. She was great. She told me to go on with my life as if nothing had happened. Well, damn it, something did happen. I was raped. And I don't feel like I'll ever be the same again. I was, but I decided I didn't need it. What's going on? The new lieutenant came on last week. Young, gorgeous, big. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need him. You'll see. Hey, how about lunch? Martha and Chrissy are dying to see. Oh, I can't. Anyway, today I brought my own. Ah, oh, come on. It's your first day back. Let's go to Ted's. <sighs> Thanks, but I really want to go through the mug shots again at lunch. Haven't they caught those bums yet? Not yet. You know, John, I don't think you should do that. I mean, why upset yourself? Harriet, I'm going to see those little bastards behind bars if it's the last thing I do. I wish I could change your mind. I never expected anything like this. What a beautiful collection. Thanks. I started collecting him before he got famous. Would you like some more wine? Oh, no, thanks. You have such lovely things. I wish I could afford to live like this. I wish I could, too. Constance, who's this? My daughter, Inger. Wasn't she beautiful? Very beautiful. You didn't tell me you had a daughter. Where is she? She was killed two years ago. Raped and then murdered. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I am too. That was a long time ago.
tell me what happened? She used to love to pick wildflowers. On the way home from school one day, a man said he would show her where there was a whole field of them. And she went with him. I guess she thought it would be a nice surprise for me. The man was a convicted child molester, just out of prison two days. At the trial, his doctor apologized to me. He said he thought the man was going to be fine. He th thought. My husband blamed me. About a month after the funeral, he left. Do you ever feel that nothing matters as much as getting even? Oh, yes. But that passes, too. Does it? No. Records show no prior convictions, and they don't look much like the uh, sketches, but one of them's got this psychotic laugh, and another one's called Eddie. It's them. Uh, Positive? Yes. God, they look like angels. Well, that's his case. How could you have talked those three sweet boys into doing such terrible deeds? You claim that you were attacked in the dark, from behind, struggled with three men that you'd never seen before, underwent severe emotional trauma, and yet you were able to identify all three boys without the slightest hesitation. That's right. May I suggest, Miss Taylor, that the reason you know these faces so well is that you invited them into your home. That's not true. And that you got angry when your little party got out of control and cried rape to get even with them. That's not true! Eddie told us she had hot pants and that she liked, you know, more than one guy to do it to her. I guess when we started boozing, the whole thing got out of hand. I mean... Well, up to there, we were having a pretty good party. And then she bit me real hard. Here, here, and here. She kept saying she wanted it harder. Harder. She kept saying it. Harder. And then... She dug her nails into my back and started screaming. Oh, Jesus, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hit me. coming in. The court is now in session. <coughs> Mr. Foreman, have you reached a verdict? Yes, sir. Will you please read the verdict? The jury finds the defendants not guilty. Whoa! Whoa! 
The jury is released and free to discuss the matter. Thank you, but my clients have no further comments. We feel that justice has been served and that's all that's important to us. Fantastic job. Thank you. You Off at school today? Hey, don't go getting depressed over that. I've told you a hundred times, you can't live in the past. Oh, I know. I know. Okay. Let me kiss. I'll love you. Now, you girls be good and pay attention at school, okay? Okay. All right. Bye bye now. You gonna kiss me? Good morning, Lucy. Terry, your sister's here. Good morning, Betty. Breakfast is ready. Good morning, Terry. It is absolutely beautiful today. And we've got sausage and eggs for breakfast. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Maybe you want some later. Hey, how about let you and I go for a ride today and get some new ribbons for your hair? Would you like that? Well, I'm going. Everything all right? Yeah, just fine. Where are the girls? Uh, we're already out in that truck. You know how much they like to ride in that? Bye, Ed. You drive safe now. Yeah. Bye, Terry. Oh, Terry. Oh, Terry, it's okay. It's all right. It's just Ed. It's just Ed. He's gone. It's okay. You're okay. Dear Miss Taylor, I am so very sorry to read about the verdict in your rape case. And now those men are out on the streets again, just like the monster who attacked my sister. Terry was so bright and such a sweet girl. Everyone loved her. Oh, darn. Having some trouble, sweetie? Don't be afraid, sweetie. I ain't gonna hurt you. My. You're a pretty girl. Ain't you? <laughs> Don't make any trouble, pretty puss. Just be sweet to Jack, and Jack will be sweet to you. <laughs> now just you be quiet, or I'll cut off that pretty face of yours. You don't want that!
You see, he'd been in prison before. Each time they said he was okay, each time they put him back on the street. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. And if it hadn't been for the fact that Jack Dwyer had been let out of prison, my sister would be fine and healthy today. Where rape is concerned, the system stinks. Something should be done about it. All my love and prayers, Lucy Bricker. Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? There's over a hundred letters here. All of them from women who had the same thing happen to them or to someone in their family, and they all say the same thing. Something's got to be done. Maybe we ought to meet with some of these women. Hear what they have to say. There's a lot of anger behind these letters. You mean like a group therapy session? I don't know. We could invite them over and see where it goes. You think they'd come? Let's find out. Because maximum sentence is meaningless. No, it isn't. These are career rapists. Now, these guys get out on parole in two weeks. And you know they're back in business in a week? If they go to jail at all. Only 2% of these guys ever get convicted. That's impossible. Oh, yeah? You ever been to a rape trial? No. Not even your own? I didn't report it. I didn't want to have my name in the papers. You, you know, everybody knowing what he did to me. I know what she means. I mean, look what happened to that lady that got raped on that pool table. You know, in that bar? Yeah. Seems to me she got raped twice. Once in the bar, and then at the trial. Me too. After the trial, even my husband thought it was my fault. <laughs> Something's got to be done. I think we ought to turn these guys over to the families of the victims. I bet they'd know what to do with them. You can't take the law into your own hands. Usually, have you got a better idea? Maybe. I think we should start a national program to arm women with mace. <laughs> it's not a yeah, I used to yeah. carry mace. When I was raped, I was at home. My mace was in my purse. Rapists are monsters, and they should be treated like monsters. I think the only thing these guys will understand is an eye for an eye. Maybe we should just kill them. I think we should string them up and cut their balls off. I mean it. Cut off their balls. Get serious. I took a poll at my beauty shop and 75% of the women agreed. It may not be a perfect solution, but castration does make men less aggressive. It takes away their ability to manufacture male hormones. Are you a doctor? No, but I am, and she's right. Chemically speaking, when you eliminate testosterone from a man's system, you limit his aggressive behavior. That's disgusting. It just seems so hopeless. No, it's not. Not if we put them permanently out of commission. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming back for more. It just doesn't How could you know what to expect? You never met any of these women until tonight. I read the letters. So did I. I read between the lines. You haven't lived with this pain as long as I have it. Don't get angry. Just listen. After a while, some things become pretty clear. Such as? How helpless we all are. How much we need to be able to strike back to regain control of our lives. You know Winger's killer is already out on parole. And sooner or later, another little girl is going to end up just the way she did. Your rapist never even went to jail. Those women are right. The laws don't protect us. And I don't believe they ever will. Go on. 
I know some of the things you heard tonight shocked you, but Joan, can you honestly say you've never had those thoughts about the boys who raped you? What do you think? There were women here tonight who are obviously ready to put themselves on the line so that these guys are stopped before they get to their sixth or seventh victim. That's what the laws are supposed to do, but they don't. Joan, if you gave us access to police files so we knew who to go after and where to start, I could do the rest. The rest of what? Castration is a simple operation. My God, you would do that. How are you going to live with yourself if you don't? What'd you do, total a squad car? I just took a 17-year-old girl to St. Luke's Hospital. Some sicko raped her in the parking garage of the 7th Street Mall. And he burned holes all over her breast and her face with a cigarette while he did it. She was so hysterical. I had to hold her in my lap all the way to the goddamn hospital. <laughs> What we're doing is extremely dangerous and, of course, illegal. And if we get caught, we'll go to prison. So if anyone wants to leave, do it now. We'll understand. Good. Let's move on. Constance? I see by the grim expression on your faces, you're imagining yourselves in hospital masks, passing these strange surgical instruments. Well, don't worry. Your assignments will have nothing to do with the actual surgery. I don't know if that's the good news or the bad news. Well, what will we be doing? I have police records on some recidivist sex offenders. The repeaters. Putting our personal feelings aside, it is possible for an innocent man to be charged with rape. Once. But the man who's charged again and again, that's another story. We're after the career rapists. Since sex offenders are registered in the state, we have the current addresses and photographs of these men. Some of them have never been charged with rape despite their records. Some have been to jail or had psychiatric treatment or both. The point is that all of them are on the street at this very moment. And there is no doubt in my mind, based on the records of these men, that each of them will find a victim in the near future. What are we supposed to do? Hit them with a baseball bat? You'll each have one of these. The liquor in this flask is laced with a very powerful drug. One drink will render an average man unconscious within five minutes, depending on how much he's had to eat and we'll keep him out for up to three hours. That's plenty of time to drive the man here and turn him over to the surgical team. I will need one person to stay with me after the operation in case there are any post-operative problems and to make certain the patient is kept sedated. It requires a lot of free time. What do I have to do? Have you ever given a hypo? <laughs> no. Well, it's not too hard, I can teach you. Do you have a job? Not now. What are you gonna tell your family? I live alone. Perfect. Now for some safety factors. The team that picks up the man is never the same team that releases him. Under no circumstances is a team to split up. We're dealing with dangerous criminals, and your safety depends upon staying together. Never, never use your right name. Look different, but not too different. And most importantly, do not confide in anyone.
Hey, sweetie, I ain't gonna hurt you. I was just going home. Why didn't you take the bus? Why? Because... Because I just live. I just live right over there. Kind of dangerous for a pretty girl like you to be out alone. I better keep it company, huh? Yes. Thank you. You know, I was about to have myself a little nightcap before I went in. Would you care to join me? Sure. You ain't going nowhere. going home now, okay? But I'll see you guys later. Wow. wow. I told my babysitter I'd be home two hours ago. Uh, take good care of him. Bye-bye. Woo! Oh, yeah. Me too. I was so scared. Yeah, but I... I was the one who panicked. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought you were going to mace him to death. What? <laughs> Sponge. Sponge. Constance, I think I need to uh, sit down for a minute. I don't feel very good. Well, hang on. I need you just a few more seconds. Can you make it? Yeah. There. God, I've dreamt about getting back at this guy for such a long time. Come on, let's get this bum out of here. Can you imagine the look on his face when he finds out his balls are gone? Are you sure no one's going to notice us in here? Nobody cares what we're doing. Come on.
doorbell. No, I just came on. <laughs> What's well, so funny? Howard and Jackson got a call from the Eastside Bowling Alley. Some guy down there is ripping up all the sinks and has already broken two urinals. So? So they bust him. All he keeps screaming is that his balls are gone. <laughs> so? So? So they check him out and sure enough, his balls are gone. And a nice job too. They question him. All he can remember is that two girls picked him up. Turns out the guy's got a rape record as long as your arm. Five arrests, two with minors, one conviction. Now, in the midst of all of this, while the guy is screaming he wants his balls back, who can blame him, right? <laughs> Jackson turns to Howler and it says, how do we write this up? Assault or robbery? <laughs> the guys took a vote. Half the station says it was assault, the other half says it was robbery. After all, his personal effects are missing. Several known rapists have been attacked and castrated. While this station does not condone these acts of violence, the acts themselves have brought the subject of rape into national prominence once again. Recently, at a national symposium on sexual assault conducted by the FBI in Virginia, government workers, independent researchers, and rape treatment centers delivered the following frightening statistics. A rape is reported every seven minutes Hello? in this country with three what? to ten times that many more oh, committed, Eva. but not reported. You, you've got to slow down. I can't even understand what you're saying. Campanella, yeah. After four weeks of searching for this creep, I come out of the cleaner. He almost knocks me over. Eva, you be careful, though. He's dangerous. I know. Lucy, I don't know how much longer I can hold him. He's already trying to get me to leave with him. Do you know where Marbles is? Yeah. <sighs> Hurry up. Well, Lucy, this guy scares me. 30 years okay, of okay. It
God, Ed, you scared me. I did it. I got the promotion. You're looking at the new grudge. Oh, big, big, big old, big old worry. Ed, listen, I'm going to be late for the meeting. We'll celebrate when I get back, okay? The meeting? What's more important, meeting or me? Well, you are. Yeah. We're all alone. The kids are gone. I've been missing you all day. Ed, I'm going to be late. You bet you are. And you got my permission to tell them why. You're still here. Where the hell have you been? I'll tell you about it later. Pete, this is Sally. Hi. Your friend didn't tell me how cute you are. Oh, aren't you sweet? Smoke? Oh, no, thank you. Those are a little too strong for me. Drink up and then go to another club. I know a place about it's really hot. Kelly's on Lancashire, you know? The beachfront of Hermosa. They're having a jam session tonight. Listen, if you want to split, your friend and I can make it on our own. Can't we, Kitty? <laughs> no. Let's go together. It's no fun alone. Yeah, the more the merrier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's drink. Sam, hand me the phone. You girls are gonna love this club. It's really something. Hey, I gotta make a pit stop. Go Happy. ahead. We'll wait in the car. Yeah, I've got a little tequila here to kind of get things going. Sounds good. Come on, don't get too far into the party without me, okay? She's starting to sound like my mother. <laughs> yeah, hello, Ed. It's Willie. I'm fine. How you doing? Good. Listen, I'm here at Marbles. You're never going to believe who just walked out of here. You can meet us there. Wait! Wait! Oh, my mother's a hooker. She likes to drink with men. Any man. If it bothers you, we don't have to talk My about My mother her. used to lock me in the closet when she went out at night. Is this a short? 
shortcut? No. Afraid of me? No. Here, why don't you take another drink? I like to get real high, don't you? Another drink. You are just like her. Hey, you're you're not gonna roll old beat tonight, are you? Huh? Oh no, I wouldn't do that. Oh, don't. You want to screw? I'll screw you. Now you're gonna give Pete a real nice screw, aren't you? And he likes it real gentle. No. Now you can spread it for me. Ed, what are you doing up so late? You didn't have to wait up for me. You have a good meeting? It was very interesting. It was a big turnout. What book did you read? Oh, I don't think you'd know it. Sure. <laughs> I mean, what's a dumb guy like me know about books? Are you celebrating? Where were you tonight, Lucy? I told you where I was, oh, Ed. That shit about a book club? Who's the guy? You're drunk. So? Willie called a night. Said uh, he saw you coming out of uh, marbles with some guy. I called him a fucking liar, but he wasn't lying, was he? Ed, that man he saw me with tonight, it's not what you think. He, he was an assignment. Assignment? That's a new word for it. Ed, please, just let me explain it. Uh, well, a few months ago, I got involved with a group of women who had either been raped themselves or had someone in their family raped. 
And we felt like the law wasn't doing its job. Bullshit. Well, we had a meeting to decide what could be done about it. And one of the women suggested castration. <laughs> you... You pick up, man, you castrate him. Come on, who's the guy? No, I don't actually do it. A doctor does it. And it's an established medical procedure. Sex criminals are very sick men. I don't believe it. Wait. You're one of those nuts I've been hearing about on the news? You? God damn you. Did you ever think about what would happen if you got caught? What about the girls? Or don't you think about the family anymore now that you've decided to play God? Ed, Ed, I'm doing it because of our family, our little girls. You hear me and you hear me good. You quit. I mean, you quit cold. Or I'll take those girls away from you and you'll never see them again. I mean it, Lucy. Try to understand. I can't. How can you? God damn it, how could you do such a thing? Why don't you go ask Terry? Maybe she can explain it to you. Lucy? No. Now listen to me. What kind of future do you think she has? It's been four years and she still shakes whenever a man comes near her. And I know we talk about how she's going to get better. But I know she's not. And so do you. And I will not stand by and let other men like Dwyer do those things without being punished. Ed. Ed. I love you. I love you so much. But I am doing this whether you understand it or not. Come on, you can't be busy every night. Richard, why don't you start seeing somebody else? Uh, you're really a pain in the ass, you know that? Now, don't you think I'd do that if I wanted to? Okay, how about Friday? Hallelujah! All right, okay. Well, let's make this something really special, okay? There's a new steak place that's open up on Sunset. How about my place? Oh, why didn't I think of that? Wow. Back so soon. Hi, Richard. Joan. Hi, Joe. Sweetheart. Remember, Remember me. me. Steady you Eddie, baby. Step. Why are they here? Who knows? Littering? Disturbing the peace? Could be anything. We bring them in every time they spit. We're all behind you. Just wish we could do more. To the future. To the future. Maybe we could talk for a while. It's been so long since we've done that. What do you think? Okay. The chicken's on low. I've missed you. Me too. <clears throat> Let's just take this nice and slow, okay?
on my doing? <laughs> okay. Where'd you go? I know. Joan, you talk to me. Don't. Just don't. I can hear them. Everything. Joan, let me help. Please, just leave me alone. Look, not this time. I'm not going to let you push me away again. There is nothing you can do. I'm not leaving until we talk about this. Now, I'm not the most aware guy in the world, but I'm doing my best I'm trying to understand. Joni, I love you. Doesn't that count for anything anymore? Go. Okay. You all right? I'm fine. Just late. Well, unless you need some extra help, I'm heading home. I think I'm having dinner with my husband. Oh, Georgianne, that's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I hope so. Damn, I miss him. Well, go on. Get out of here. Bye. Bye. And you look exhausted. Why don't you go home, too? I'd rather stay. I don't really think... Go I... home. I'll call Eva when it's time for him to be dropped off. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Good night.
Hello? Constance? What's wrong? We have a problem, John. I... I'm sorry. Don't do anything. I'll be right there.
Rosalie, please. <laughs> Honey, you gotta get a hold of yourself. I should have left. But she would have... I, I could have... She told you to leave Rosalie. Any of us would have done the same thing. But I thought she might be glad when she saw that it was Copley. So did I. Look, we have got two bodies here. And unless we do something right away, we're all going to go to jail. Okay, tell us what to do. The first thing is to get rid of Copley's body. Then we've got to clean up the house. It'll look like a simple suicide. I'll do anything else. But I can't go back in that room again. That's okay. I can, I can do it. The best thing for all of us to do when we leave here is to forget everything. Who we knew, what we did. What do you mean? I mean that I'm through with this thing, and the rest of you should be too. Well, why don't you speak for yourself? Two people are dead because of what we've done. One of them was our friend. We know that. And it's because Constance is dead that we've got to go on. Let's not argue now. Well, when then? You just said for all of us to go home, not look back. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And how are you going to feel the next time you hear another woman's been raped? I'll be sorry. Sorry? Her life will be ruined and you'll be sorry? Don't tell me you never thought that somebody might get killed. Of course I thought about it. Let me ask you something. Why did you want to do this in the first place? For the same reasons you did. And if I could think of anything else to do, believe me, I'd do it. Come on. We've got a lot of work to do.
What's happening, meter maid? Who are your playmates? Oh, no, 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 no. This is a personal score, just you and me. You and your cop friends have been hassling me for every rap in the book. What's the matter? A tough guy like you can't take the heat? You know what? I'm gonna shut that mouth of yours for good. No, no, no. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Lucy, it's Joan. Oh, Joan. We have to talk. I've already found another doctor. 